What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Continuing where we left off. Special Cowboys Been Drinking edition. Just got done playing some bowling. I haven't been bowling in a long time. Wow, that is a lot of others. Um, so yeah, this episode will be... For those of you that haven't been to an episode where I've been drinking before, it's pretty interesting because there's parts of me that are going to be better and there's parts that are going to be way sloppier. Like, namely, the dialogue is going to be all over the place. Uh, yeah, but as you can here. clearly see, the combat is nice. The resource reading is close. Should we get it? Uh, yes, we should. <laughs> it's right there. I might be a little bit slow. <laughs> Great then. Uh, but yeah, it was good to go out and go bowling. I don't think I've been bowling in like three years. Because I didn't, so I, I obviously I just moved into the new house. The new house is about 15 minutes away from a bowling lane. Before I moved, the closest place I could bowl was like 35, 45 minutes away. Which that's a that's a that's a you know that's a long way to bowl. That's a long way. If if you know if people ask me like, hey, you want to do something, and I'm like, yeah, sure. What are we doing? They're like, oh, we're doing uh, this activity. It's going to be about a 45 minute drive. I'm like, ooh, yeah, it's going to be a no for me, dog. It, it takes a lot to get me to drive that far to do something. Especially if it's something that involves alcohol, like bowling. I mean, bowling doesn't have to involve alcohol, but it's a Saturday night and, you know, that's just how it works. So, anyway. Uh, so, I got that. Hoping this is a combat heavy episode because I can tell you right now, I do not have the patience that this is. I thought I heard one of you. Barely did any clairvoyance there. But yeah, I don't know if I can do some some super long dialogue. It's it's honestly like I'm. I have some very mixed feelings about this game. Not in the same way that I had mixed feelings about like Bio Mutant, because Bio Mutant was just straight dookie at times. You know, I don't think anybody is trying to argue it wasn't. Um, and this game, like when this game is firing on all cylinders, I'm having a blast with it. Like, the combat has consistently increased itself, you know, with, with addition. Every time I was like, oh, all right, it's getting kind of simple. New things I added in, like, hey, here's your combo attack. Hey, you can actually chain this ability into a special combo. Like, you know, just more and more stuff continually keeps getting added, which I think is, is good, you know? Uh, right when you, when players, anytime a game takes an approach where, uh, when user complacency begins to set in the game throws a curveball your way or at least something to expand upon itself i think that is always good and, and scarlet nexus has done a really good job of that with the combat which has kept me interested in it uh, but the dialogue oh man the, di the dialogue is starting to wear thin i think it's it's the I mean, the story itself, like, all right, so if we, if we completely disregard all, uh, you know, side character commentary, like if we, if we focus on strictly the story and the plot of what's going on, there's something pretty cool here. You know, it's, it's, there's, you know, say Rand's doing shit, but there's, you know, well, do we really want to be with our government? No, not really. So maybe there's a way to, you know, not be with them and... Oh, God. You know, how do, how, how, what do we do here? You know, we don't want to join say Rand, but we don't want to join our government. And, and how deep was our father and our brother? And what level of the experiments being done? And our memory is a little bit weird, but we were in the hospital as a child, so you know what what exactly happened there? Was it all just gravy, or did they mess with us? Like, there's a lot of questions that I want answered, and there's a lot of plot points that I want to see resolved. But 
I feel it is all very, very drastically ruined by the various anime mechanics the game tries to uh, shoehorn in. And I think that's the only way we can describe it, the shoehorning it, because, you know, these are mechanics that you would, you know, the gifts and the bonding and whatnot. I would expect that in almost any JRPG I play. Uh, and, you know, I, I understand why they added it here, especially given that... Ooh, it messed up. Uh, especially for those that don't know, the folks that did Tales of Vesperia helped write this story. So I could see where they were like, no, yeah, this, this is good stuff. We should definitely add this. But it doesn't fit at all. It doesn't fit, and it's it's gotten to a point where it's it's kind of weird, you know? Like, it's weird when... I mean, oh, God. I think probably the best example is... Uh, I don't remember his name right now, but Invisible Man. Uh, we just had a meeting with Invisible Man, and he's talking about Sugumi. And then our character is like, hey, if you're okay with it, there's something I need to ask you. You know, why did Kasane kill my dad? I think Kasane, and like, the conversation gets real deep. And all of a sudden, dude just goes, let's talk about something else. Uh, are there any girls you like? Like, what the fuck? Who? I got, I got to stop for a second. Who in the writing room was like, all right. He is questioning this man about his father who was just murdered in front of him. And we are going to cut that conversation out and instead ask who he's got a crush on. Like, who the fuck approved this? This is so bad. That is that. Uh, that's really bad. That's I cannot express enough how terrible that is from a writer's room perspective. And. While the combat of this game is fun, like, oh my god. The people who let this get out the door and were like, yeah, this is engaging story. No, I'm sorry. You you don't, you need to get your asses demoted after that. That is not good. And I am just barely not at this area. Let's see. It looks like I'm going to have to go. I feel like I'm on the wrong floor. Ah, this hospital sucks my ass. But like for real like I can't be the only one that saw that and was like yeah this makes sense I mean, there's been, and the thing is, it's not like a one-time thing, you know? This game is guilty of doing that shit a bunch. That's water. Oh, that's oil. You're dead. Covered, I guess, yeah. It does. Mm. Well, either way, I have to go through this stuff. So I want to go up. Yeah, I know. Yuto. Well aware. No, hang on. This is where I came from. that thing and we go around ah shit well this looks like it just goes backwards though yeah that goes there
can't jump over to there. All right, so what is the point of coming over here? That's wasting my time. Do you need help? I mean, I came from downstairs, but no, it wants me to go upstairs. All right, God, this fucking hospital, man. The upstairs, it takes me upstairs, and then it gives me a new spot. Spot is this way. Let's go down this path. A resource reading near here. The other turned invisible, but I can still see it. Try to It doesn't make sense to go this way. Okay. There's a uh, special you can, well not special, a um, level up perk you can get for while you're in that, that it will completely negate all forms of damage. There's uh, one level that makes it so that you take half damage, and then one more that makes it so that while you're doing that you just don't, you don't get hit. That's just stuff, just the attacks don't touch you. They don't hurt, at least, which is really cool. I don't feel like this is the right way, but we're finding a bunch of stuff, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Oh, yep, yeah, nope, this is definitely the right way. Time to go! the Santa you should know better no chance. these are such a weird names release the Santa Her ability to instantly light something on fire. That's all. Right. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. You need help? Help that! I can hit it. Come on. Let me 
be good teams. Yeah, we work really well together. Okay, come on, hit me. And now it's the end time. Skipped a bunch. I received notifications, but dispose of H13. H13 has been killed. They were slated for disposal. But would that have been better than being eaten alive? Place is finished. Forecast reading was 0%, but we're being attacked by so many at once, it's unbelievable. OSF, who are fighting back here, likely hasn't happened. Be here as patience. The main force hasn't arrived. Should be sealed when the alarm went off. I can't get back up there, but Heather's an employee. System match. It's going to recognize voice entry. Saving text and ending voice entry. Weird. I think I've been to this room before. It doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me. But he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Oh, Not snap. You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. Because Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation. You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me, You need to be alive when I bring you in! Okay, buddy. Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Go, Yuito! Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? I didn't know Nagi can fight this well. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. I mean, Nagi can't fight this well, let's be honest. This is him jacked up on brain drugs. Holy shit, he's going fast. Yeah, that's on cooldown. Personality suddenly changed like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop him now. I won't let him away. I saw it. Great job, Sugumi. 
Damn, that is a lot of stun. on i swear to god if that's a game over and not a they pick me back up it is wow i had clairvoyance up i dodged multiple times it just didn't didn't give me a dodge it was like no i'm gonna give you this sorry yeah thanks game i know that brain field's a thing oh, fucking garbage these boss fights on hard are like there's no reason He doesn't fight this well. He's dead fuck man i was literally just switching over back to jelly to heal oh man oh boy thanks Nabi. Come with you where, bro? Where? Holy shit. Where? No, bro. Stop this. Changed like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, 
You would have been personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop him for now. Hold up, didn't I have a thing where that didn't work? Um Yeah, after perfect dodge, you start trigger. God. God, he did not want to go down. Shatter his brain. Make him a vegetable. I guess we're going to find out what happens if you pass out during the fight. Yuito, I know that was scary. What the hell? This is him as a kid, I think. They're all done with the tests now. Honest. Let me see that brave face. This is his mother? You're okay. It's all over. Yeah. Mommy. <laughs> A dream was... about my mom? Why would I have that now? Looks like he's handcuffed. Oh, right. Yeah. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. Smell. Where am I? Well, I guess you lost and everyone got whooped. I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. 
You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Yep. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait, please explain it to me so I can understand. <sighs> it's simple. You were born a dud. Then you were hospitalized here with your mother because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital, where we run medical experiments on them. Bro. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. Bro, this rando dude has given us more insight into the story than anything else has in like the last 10 episodes. Are you all right? Boogie just showed up, knocked that man the fuck out. It's like, I'm getting you out of General here. Fubuki? How? The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you, and then used you as... as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked inside a room. There was... strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. But Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like... others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it. No matter what. What is it? Super I'll secret cell phone. Get out of here. Now go. You'll only get in my way. It's okay. Galaxy S25. I don't see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. All right, well, we are gonna wrap up here. I did level up, so I got 13 BP to spend. Let's go ahead and spend this real fast here. Moving spin attack sounds nice, as well as follow up expand level two. My combos, I finally have like full combo chains. It's only taken the whole game to get there, but I have it. sure grab that anyway uh we're gonna wrap up here uh probably well i'll probably record one more tonight i'm feeling good anyway yeah 
wrapping up here i will catch you all soon with some more as we continue on and hopefully i mean honestly it's it's kind of shitty but any, anyway we'll talk about it in the next episode